All right, guys, let's face it. As affiliate marketers, we want to make a lot of money online. And, you know, choosing the best product is very, very important to making that happen. So I'm going to run you guys down what I look for in a clickbait product to make sure I promote the best product possible. So if you guys are interested in learning about the best products to promote, you're going to want to watch this video to the very end. <laughs> All right, you guys, so let's jump right into my computer and let's start going down what I look for in a ClickBank product. All right, you guys, so here we are on ClickBank.com. Now, if you don't have an account already, you can create one by going to create account. It's absolutely free. They're just gonna ask for some personal information like your name, your address, and your bank information so that they, so that they can pay you once you make a sale. Then you're off to the races. You can go ahead and click on Affiliate Marketplace to choose from the thousands of products that they have to promote. On the left-hand side here, these are all the categories you could choose from. They range from bedding systems all the way down to home and garden. So you're most likely going to find a product to promote on ClickBank. Now, I personally like to stick within the top three niches, which is wealth, health, and relationships. That's what I find the most success in. And I also wanna show how to find the top selling products on this website. It's a little bit advanced technique. But what I do is I like to keep this search bar blank and just click search. That's gonna populate the top 10 selling products on ClickBank, okay? Now, the reason why I like to do this is because these guys, more times than not, have put in a lot of work on their marketing and they have a lot of information for their affiliates, a lot of resources for us to use. Now, it is okay to look at the top 20. Um, usually those are okay, but I don't go too much further than that, all right? Another thing that I look for is the initial dollar per sale i want to make sure that this is okay with me personally this is a personal um, preference now 3426 is okay for me um, sometimes i shoot for a little bit more like a product i've promoted in the past was organifi which initial sale was 68 dollars and 20 cents so it depends on what you're looking to make initial initially um, that is important it's a personal preference again but that is one thing that I look for to make sure that it has just the right amount of money up front from one customer. Following that, I like to make sure that they have recurring billing. Recurring billing, you can tell if they have this icon here, and that means that the customer is going to get billed on a month to month basis, which means that you get a commission on a month to month basis. So not only will you get the initial sale of $34.26, but you will get a rebill, another four dollars and sixty seven cents for this product month on a month to month basis as long as that customer continues to pay so that's a little cherry on top it's not crucial when i'm looking for products but i do like that um, in most of my products all right so we're definitely going to want to take a look at the sales pages to look at sales pages you're going to have to click the link right up here and it's important for you guys to take a look at the sales pages because you wanna make sure that when your customers go ahead and get there, that it's a good looking site. It's not sketchy or anything like that. And you can learn a couple things here um, on sales pages. What you get to see is kind of what, who they're targeting, you know, woman right here, and exactly what words are they using so that you can use it in your own promotions. Now, that's all good and dandy. That sales page looks fine for me. Like this is nothing wrong with that. But what I also look for is the resources because they offer affiliate resources on each and every product for the most part on a ClickBank. Um, and what that does is it gives you resources as an affiliate, things like keywords that people might search to find the product or the benefits that you can highlight in your own promotion. Like I said, from these sale pages. So you can click affiliate page here and this one asks us for your email address. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter it in so we could take a look at just exactly what they're going to be giving us to work with. All right, you guys, so we're in and this is the resources that they have for their affiliates. Now, first thing you see is commission bumps. And what that means is that they're willing to give the affiliate more money. All you have to do is reach out and let them know that you know, you're serious about this and they may offer you a commission bump. So you can make more than the $34, I believe that they were initially paying out. All right, so more stats is they let you see exactly what's going on when um, people are landing on their sales page. 
So $62 is the average order value and $3 per click. So that helps you if you're doing paid traffic or email marketing. And the demographics is really important because that lets you narrow in on who you're talking to. You can see that there's women ages 40 to 65 and they have a sweet spot of around 40 to 60 year old women. All right, all English speaking countries are converting well. So this is pretty good so far, good information. Let's you know what your affiliate link is going to look like and you're gonna remove these X's and input your affiliate ID number once you choose to promote this product. So it offers some email swipes. So that means that you can get the best emails that are producing the best for them. You go ahead and click that. All right guys, so this is the first email swipe. And as you can see, they give you the subject, the whole body of the message. And what you have here in the blue is where you would input your affiliate link and that's when if anyone clicks that link and makes a purchase you would get paid for it there's another one here there's images and banners that you can utilize for your free traffic methods or paid so that's pretty cool and that is good um, but yeah this seems like to have pretty handy resources for their affiliates and i would consider promoting a product like this they give you a little bit of do not, you know, don't directly link to checkout. And, you know, just going through this would definitely help you understand how to best promote this product and get the highest conversions. Now, that's essentially what I look for when I'm promoting a ClickBank product. The next thing I would do is set up a funnel for this product so that I could drive traffic to it. I don't wanna, like they said, directly send people to a checkout page. So linking it and just sending someone the checkout page link is not gonna work, right? All right, you guys, so I hope you found some value and found a way to promote the best products on ClickBank from this video. If you wanna learn how to set up a funnel, then go ahead and click the next video. I'll put a card up above here so you guys can go straight to that video. All right, till next time, my friends. Don't be average, be savage. I run it up cause I ain't never looking down again And I just wanna see my mother hold a smile again So I can't stop, I start a wave, got niggas drowning in The streets cold, some on them out the shit Them shots fire, niggas lucky if they found your shit I hit the button, take it back, thinking about the shit My niggas hungry, putting ten toes down in it